Do you guys remember these? Do you remember these? These little pin things. I love these, right? So like, you, you get it like this. You tip upside down. It's like these needle things. They're like they're needles, but they're they're like they're not needles because there's no sharp bits on them. And then you you like put something in here, like say a fist, and you tip it back, and then it makes a fist. Look at that. You now have a fist. I love these things. You can get in your face. <laughs> Found it the other day. I love it. I absolutely adore it. It's my favorite. It's like my new favorite toy. Welcome back to Cadawa Show, Joey, everyone. Uh, this is episode 35. Last time we were on, we just made our way to the coffee place, skipping school uh, with the lovely Misha and the very quiet but also very quiet. She's deaf. <laughs> and the very controlling Shizune. I like Shizune's hair. I remember I was watching... I get to the game now. I was watching uh, the new Arrested Development stuff, and at one point, uh, Portia de Rossi cuts her hair really short. Like, not really short, sorry. Uh, like, she just loses her long hair, and she cuts it to, like, this sort of length by here and stuff. And I thought that looked great. And I really, I you know what? I found that uh, I do, I do. I, I always thought I would like really long hair, but I, I definitely like that sort of style, like, sort of like kind of like that. You know what I mean? Hmm. Mm. Anyway, let's get on with this game. We make it to the tea shop with a 15-minute walk. It seems that we are the only customers around. Oh, no, here she comes. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. Bam 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 Is it always this quiet in the morning? By that, I mean is it always empty? No, this is kind of weird. Hey, this isn't a bad thing though, right? You're right. We take our seats at a large square wooden table, and it hits me that I don't know what this place serves. I just went with what Yuko recommended the last time. Hey, is there a menu or something? Nope! That was a strange amount of zest. <laughs> you gotta, you just, you gotta, you gotta like fucking guess. I would like, um. Ham and chips, we don't serve that. Damn! Gonna like randomly guess, <laughs> randomly guess what meal you want. That's my absolute favorite. That is, guess the meal. <laughs> Can I have eggs? No. Potatoes? No. Uh, shit. This is a very modern play. Modern. It's stupid. So, so hey, Chad, you just said what you got to order. I look around the store to see if I can see anything resembling a menu. I don't understand. What's up with this place? What gives? Probably Yuko. She's totally useless. She probably doesn't have a menu. Is this some kind of secret shop? Can you normally only enter here with a secret handshake? Some kind of wink and a nod? Wink, wink. Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. Say no more. Say no more. Your wife? Is she a doer? Is she a goer? Oh, I bet she is. Oh, wink, wink. Wink, nudge, nudge, nudge. Say no more. Say no more. Say no more. Uh... <laughs> That was bizarre. There we go. Do you need, uh, do you need some of the vouch for you? A blood oath? Damn it, it was nothing like this last time. I don't know, uh, last time I think I just got coffee? What do they serve here? <laughs> Gotta guess. Tea! <laughs> My guy serves tea, he's out. <laughs> Ah, well, that's not just tea, right? Not only tea. There's other stuff too, right? Clearly! Clearly! So apparently there's a consensus that that squiggly line is either who continues just like, clearly! Or like, clearly! Like, or like a weird like inflection on the end of a sentence is, clearly? Like what? There are no menus here. Where are the menus? They're playing another joke on me. 
There's no way out of this. All I can do is brace myself for the inevitable oncoming burn. I wanted to walk out of the store, but I'm already sitting down. It would be improper to leave now. The unspoken rule of polite social conduct blocked my exit like a wall of fire. <laughs> Forget political landmines. We've got social. We got social firewalls now. <laughs> social firewalls. <laughs> Ain't no more so political landmines here. This is social firewalls. I decide to play it safe. I'll order what they order, if it's acceptably manly enough. <laughs> what does that even mean? Oh, if it's acceptably manly enough, I will definitely order it. Uh, I'd like a steak with a... with a man beaten to a pulp on it, please. Uh, why don't you two uh, order before me? Ladies first. Well played, Chad. But we already ordered. How, how is that possible? What? 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 How? From who? We're regulars. We come here so often that we don't have to do it anymore. Ah oh, shit. Well, well, I guess you've had enough. We're sitting on our menus, of course. We're sitting on the menus, of course. Son of a bitch. I look around at the other tables. There are no menus on any of them. That means that they must keep them in a big stack near the door or something. What a thing to sit on. What speed to grab them so quickly. Oh yeah, uh, I saw a picture on the Reddit. Amazing picture. It's like me like this. And it's like my face on Misha and it's fucking hilarious. Well, whatever. Can I have one then? You can take one if you want, but you're not the kind of person who would do something that. You're not the kind of person who would do something that. that. skivious? Isn't that right? I tell them that I'd like some coffee and put my head down on the cool tabletop. <sighs> coffee? This is a very high class establishment, and you're gonna order coffee? I can't tell if they're messing with me again. I can tell they're messing me again. In that case, I'll have whatever you're having. You're having. Hitian, Sichan is drinking a specialty that is only grown in remote areas of India. <laughs> yeah, I love that. It's like, yeah, yeah, I love that. That sounds good. The tea is still, is still handmade by a tribe of tea makers who have passed the method down their families for generations. They must, they must wade through, a, through alligator infested waters to obtain the leaves once a year. On each trip, some do not make it back alive. I can't drink that. I just feel too guilty. <laughs> what the fuck? Then I'll have, uh, I'll have what you're having. I don't know what I'm drinking. How? She's like, she's like ditzy in a way that's like almost unreal. Oh, there's a little bit of, I missed a little bit while shaving. That's a shame. Fine, then I want the tea that people died for. <laughs> I ordered the item menu. Uh, excuse me, can I have the tea that people died for, please? Sounds like one of those, uh, like, pretension. <laughs> I have the tea that people died for. Oh, not really. I'm being being facetious. I think. I never use that word right. No, never mind. I'll have coffee. If this is a very high class establishment, then they should just have very high class coffee, right? No one died for it, right? The perfect answer. There's no way they can stand against it. Shishne shrugs as if to say, "Well played." They still didn't answer my second question. No! <laughs> Yuko strikes. Misha calls for Yuko. Who brings over our drinks and a single, incredibly tiny yellow cake. What? 
with a little black plastic fork stuck in each in it for each of us. I ate my cake in one bite, amazed at how it's probably the least filling thing I've ever eaten. Yeah, get out of here, Yuko. Hey, Chan, do you have any plans for tomorrow? Misha grips, takes a gulp of her tea, something sounding suspiciously high class, even though it looks like ordinary tea. She drinks with incredible recklessness. <laughs> Considering how hot it is. The exact opposite of Shizune or Lily. Uh, plans? That sounds ominous. Uh, plans? Yes. Yes, I am incredibly busy tomorrow. In fact, I have so much to do that I will not have any free time at all. That's right. None whatsoever. And everything I have to do is extremely important. Very, very important. This is really weird. It feels like someone else... Like, it feels like someone else is doing the dialogue for Sao now, because it seems totally different with Hanako. Misha giggles, clearly not buying it, and then signs it all back to Shizne, who nods slowly and deliberately while looking very unamused. Suddenly, she leans forward, staring analytically at my face like a human lie detector, waiting for the smallest telf to give me away. After at least a minute of this, she sits back down in her seat and takes a sip of tea. Okay, Hichan, if you're that busy, we don't have to do anything tomorrow. So we'll thought maybe you want to hang out with a festival. <laughs> you're new here, right? Right? So, we thought we could un we'd show you around and have some fun together. But if you're that busy, we understand. Oh well, oh well. The both of them shrug together in perfect sync, as if they've rehearsed it. <laughs> Hey Chen, you're so paranoid. And you'll never beat me anyway, so why bother getting so worked up about it? <laughs> wow, Si Chen! Wow, Si Chen! There you go. Beat you? What are you talking about? Is she talking about the coercion? I never realized that this was just a game to her. I thought I was the only one who saw it as a competition. You know! Uh, you know, uh, do you hit Chan? Because I don't. You can't out with me. Ah, uh, well, hit Chan, not me. <laughs> what? What are you talking about, Si Chan? Oh God, she's gone cat eyes. She's gone full cat eyes, guys. You never go full cat. Cat eyes. I can see Shizune smiling craftily, daring me to enter this battle of wills and wits of her. I have zero idea what's happening right now. When he, when he is pushed to the edges of despair, a man has no choice but to sink or grasp at the fleeting wisps of hope. Fight with all his power against the inevitabilities of his fate and struggle against the impossible. For even if he fails, at least fail knowingly, knowing he, that he dared greatly. Or something like that. Well, uh, we'll see about that. Don't underestimate me. Don't underestimate me. You don't have to follow through to make good on that, Hichan. Oh, sorry. Don't you have to follow through to make good on that, Hichan? Ah, well, I could get lucky. Don't count out that possibility. You, you won't. I will. Wait. <laughs> Let's make a bridge on it then. I don't care about competition. That's a blatant lie. Wait, what exactly do you mean? That's okay if you don't know, and even you I <laughs> So it's settled then. Alright, alright. Wait, what? Did you hear what I just said? Now it's all left is at stakes. What the winner what the winner wins, or more interestingly, what the loser loses. Close. Strip whatever we're playing. I don't know what I don't know what's going on, but it should be strip something. Hey, this is a very dangerous game I'm playing. Shizune herself is a very dangerous girl. If she can think, if she can only think in terms of winning and losing. If she views every time what I talk of her as some kind of battle of wills, I don't think I could take it. That kind of thing drives people insane. She's too Machiavellian. Before this, I'd assume she was just kind of stoic. But nevertheless, I'm interested. In hindsight, I realized that I just challenged her to what is essentially a duel without any rules that won't end until one of us... What? I guess that's it. 
That's so vague. <laughs> what are the conditions for winning and losing? The first person to feel stupid loses? Uh, the first person to... Drop the ball! Feeling my bar, feeling my plums. I don't know. I've never had to think of anything like this before. Never? Never. Do you have never gambled, Hichan? Surprised you two have. They're hardcore gamblers. Oh, cut on! It's just for fun, anyway. Between friends! It's about causing humiliation, suffering, and absolute despair. Absolute despair. Isn't that the point? Shizune puts a finger to her temple thoughtfully. Sorry, there you go. Hmm, I heard this, Hichan. If you lose, you have to go to school one day without any pants on. Are you insane? Oh my gosh, oh my good gosh. Although in comparison to what I'm, I was afraid she would say, it's pretty mild. How about if, if I lose, we'll have like weird kinky sex? Is that okay? I don't know. On your terms, and if we win, then we have regular, non-kinky like kind of relations on like my terms. Uh, uh, can't we just bet money like normal people? Oh. It's not like you could match my wager if we did! Now it's your turn, but nothing perverted. Understand? Damn. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> I think I need more time. This is gonna have to- this is gonna have me constantly on edge for weeks. Okay! Come on, you, you should both hurry up! Your drink's getting cold! I quickly down the rest of my coffee as Shizune does the same. Staring at me with a fierce look of competition in her eyes. It seems like a waste for her to be gulping down something that someone may have died for her to enjoy. <laughs> died for her to enjoy. Ugh! I'm enjoying this so much. I hope you are. Fuck you. Hey, Tian, are you sure you don't want to hang out tomorrow? A lot of people are looking forward to it. You don't have to miss, you don't have to miss out. I mumble unintelligently at it. I don't really understand. I don't really understand. It's time to think. Shizune's drink is smaller, but I can consume mine faster. If Shizune finishes her drink first, she might skip out on playing, leaving me to pick up the tab. Let's give paying. Even though she said the drinks were on her. Because I have no money on me, I'd be humiliated, and therefore this could be considered a loss. Oh my god, what is going on? <laughs> this is gonna bug me. If I finished first, the laws of chivalry would make me look like a jerk. But I would need to run out of the tea house, leaving her to pay for everything. That could also be considered a loss. She would use that. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? I don't understand what's going on! Make sure I'm with you, I don't understand. In the event of a draw, she may attempt to run out the door, and I'll probably do the same. This might lead to a collision at the door, which would be humiliating, but not overly so. And Misha would be left to pick up the tab. This is really childish. I'm a little disappointed in Shizune and myself. I feel like he's overthinking this. Well, hey Chan, it'd be really nice if we could all celebrate how we all put everything together for the festival by taking a look at our handiwork. Misha seems oblivious to the fact that an epic battle of wills is raging in front of her. I nod slowly and down the last of my coffee. Well, I'm finished enjoying my drink. I guess it's time for me to leave, and I'm gonna leave now, calmly. You too, Si Chan? Why are you two acting so weird? I quickly walk out the door and Shizune follows. Misha is going to have to foot the bill. <laughs> Sorry, Misha. What a douche. Catching up to me, Shizune quickly pushes her glasses up and presses a note into my hand. If you lose, you have to come hang out with us tomorrow. So you think you win? You can win today? It's kind of cocky, Shizune. I forgot for a second that she can't hear me. <laughs> I nod. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Right now, she seems much cuter than she usually is. Smiling softly with a hint of confidence comes through. Shizune looks energetic and carefree, although it could just be the caffeine. She winks and extends her hand for a handshake. I wonder if there's a buzzer in there. She plans to shock me. That doesn't seem like something she would do, so I accept. And then she throws you over her. 
With a squeeze, she pushes another note into my hand, and I momentarily think that it's a buzzer and wonder if the shock could kill me. She's in a smirks and then runs off. You probably don't know how to get back to school from here. There will be work waiting for you when you do. See you then! See you then! You've written it. You've, she's written the squiggle down! What? See you then. I crush the note in my fist dramatically. Oh yeah, brother! Oh, that reminds me. I have had I have a thing to pull up on the uh, on the Reddit uh, that I wanted to read out for you all. That is incredibly awesome, and I'm super proud of it. And I can't find it, and I'm gonna have to do it later. I wonder if it's too late to go back to the shop and ask Misha for directions. Cup of coffee in the big time, oh yeah! I'm having a cup of coffee in the big time. But then again, I give her a hand hard time for not knowing the way here, so I can't allow her to score off me for not knowing the way back. And if I ask Shizune, if I ask her, Shizune could see it as a victory. No, it's not necessary. The school is on top of a damn hill, how hard could it be to find? I may be slightly directionally challenged, but I'm sure that even I can do this. About an hour and a half later, I walk the long paved path leading from the gates to the main building. <laughs> Just the person we were waiting for! So you made it here eventually, Hichan. Good! Now it's time for you to work, work, work! Misha and Shizne had laid an ambush for me in the main lobby of the ground floor, and I walked straight into it. I should have just circled around the school like I had originally planned, but I thought I was overreacting and being silly. Misha is waving a fixed stack of printouts in, the, in my general direction, taunting me. We sort of, we sort of need your help. Sort of. We need your help. We need your help. We need your help. Help me. You will help us! <laughs> Misha speaks of her usual playful, carefree manner, but even so, I can hear Shizune's unnerving, hard severity behind it. Sounds like an order. Really? Is it? <laughs> Sorry. Ah, uh, it is. <laughs> Sorry, Hitchan, I guess it is. <laughs> that sounds like more like a voice she'd have. She doesn't sound very sorry at all. I thought we had almost everything done by now, but it turns out that we have all these signs to attach to banking boards. <laughs> no, I think that's not right for her. More hands, more light work. And everybody wins. <laughs> oh, man. This is your duty, after all, as a member of the student council, which what which you are a part of. As a member of the student council, <laughs> it's a simple task. So get so getting it out of the way will now will be good. It's not that much work. A small thing, really. And we'd really appreciate your help. Really, really appreciate it. Besides, it's time to pay us back for treating you so nicely. So the t-shirt was a trap after all! You two tiny scoundrels. Don't say that! It was completely unrelated. We wanted to celebrate you joining the council! Why did she bring it up then? But... <laughs> no buts! You're coming with us! I wouldn't... I'm not gonna resist. I didn't even get to finish my sentence as they grabbed me by the arms and tried to pull me toward their office. Mind for a hard spanking? Misha laughs giddily as she and Shizune exchange sly looks behind my back. I don't think you have a choice in this here, Chan. <laughs> there are two of us, so don't even try to get away now. Don't take us lightly. Hey, Chan, it's your duty to help us anyway as a member of the student council. Right, all right. How can I forget? But seriously, on the other, on, on the other people who can help you. 
Uh, like who, Hitchan? You were the fine. You were fine of helping us yesterday. Yesterday is not today. <laughs> and tomorrow will not be yesterday. And tomorrow is Friday. And yesterday was Thursday. <laughs> it's Friday. Friday. It's Friday. Friday. Gotta get down on Friday. And anyone who isn't me. Why don't you have to? Why do you have to? Why do? You, why don't you have anyone else in the council? That's what we'd like. That's what we'd like to know. <laughs> Misha's laugh explodes through the hall. She doesn't notice the grimaces on my face at all. That's right. It's just the two of them, isn't it? All right. Okay. I'll help you. Misha runs her tongue over her teeth, looking quite pleased. Ugh, oh, don't do that! I like that. See, I don't do very well, but, uh... Seen some very... Some sexy ladies doing that. It's not good. But she's like this. <laughs> and she's like... That's my... That's my heat chan I knew I could trust you! So predictable! Predictable! So predictable! <laughs> when we get to the student council room, my jaw drops. The number of signs, backing boards, and signposts is insane. They're stacked all over the place like building materials at a construction site. Something I left Shizne and Misha know right off the bat. Right off the bat! There are so many signposts here, you could probably build a second wall around the school with them. Just walk away. Just walk away. <laughs> really? Well, there are a lot of them, so maybe. Uh, no? How'd you know that, Shi Chan? She's measured. Really? Don't tell me she's actually considered it. She's knee hesitates, then pushes her glasses up a bit as Misha lets out a very uneasy sounding laugh. <laughs> she has, so she has considered it. <laughs> That's irrelevant, Hitian. Can you, can you get on with making a stain, please? All right, all right. I feel sort of lied to, though. I thought you said it wouldn't be that much work. Ah, oh, well, Shi-chan meant it wouldn't be that much work for us. Bitch. <laughs> bitch. Fucking bitch. What the fuck? Someone has to supervise you while you do this, you know, to make sure you're doing it right. And those people will be us. So what are you two gonna do? Watch you! <laughs> no, that was a joke, he chan We'll help out too, of course. The student council is really supposed to have a lot more people. This is just a bad year. She were people than usual, even though we didn't already have them in the year before. And then there's just a lot more work than them before to do too. Ooh, ooh. Besides, Shi Chan likes. Besides, Shi Chan likes working with you, and so do I. We've accomplished a lot more than we normally could, you know. I can accept that. Lately, they've been looking a little fatigued every fatigued every time I see them. Student council work is apparently a 24-hour-a-day thing. And from what I've seen and heard, there are just the two of them. Well, I guess I make it free. They uh, they must work almost non-stop. I wonder how much they spend work, how much time they spend working in this room when I don't see them. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I am quite tired. It's early in the morning, but I haven't slept yet because I've been up all night live streaming. And I've even glimpsed Misha taking naps sometimes without Shiznader's side. By herself, Shizune has to be working 60 hour weeks doing her student council duties, on top of regular classes. Two hours pass, and I reach for attack only to find the box is empty. Shizune grabs it before I can say, even say anything. She smiles, tossing it expertly into a trash can along with another empty box of tacks. So you're out too, Hichan. Don't worry, Shichen says she'll get some more. <laughs> We went for a box too! But me and Shi Chan decided to wait until you needed a new box as well before getting a new one! Something about that strikes me as odd. 
Wait, we both ran out of text just now? Wow, what a weird coincidence, huh? Ah, well, actually, Hitchan, we ran out 20 minutes ago, and there was only one spare box of text, the one we gave to you. And you were flying for this pretty quickly, so we thought that we should just wait until we both had no more text before getting more. Then, Chi-chan could go get fresh boxes of tax for all of us at the same time. You know, for efficiency. She's in a nod, preparing to step out the door. Wait, what? Uh, wait a second. So what did you two do for the past 20 minutes? Played with each other? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, of course. What could we do? We had no tax, Hee-chan. Tax is starting to lose all meaning for me now. Shizne and Misha exchange knowing glances before they give up give me a perfectly synchronized and incredibly exaggerated simultaneous shrug. <laughs> I see. So you decided to take a break. Clever. Oh, we know it was clever. Whose idea was it? The both of us, of course. Of course. <laughs> well, Hichan, it was all Shichan's idea. I turn immediately to Shizne, who gives me a curt wave and a surprisingly cheery smile before quickly vanishing out the door. You just lost the game, brother. Oh yeah, brother! Cream of the crop, coffee in the big time! Oh yeah! I'm the cream of the crop in the big time. Coffee is sweet, honey is sweet and so is sugar. Oh yeah, cup of coffee in the big time. <laughs> I love doing machoisms. Well then, why didn't you just say you wanted me to take a break? I used to think that Shizne and Misha were polar opposites. Misha always seemed so energetic and playful, and any other girl. Shizne, on the other hand, always seemed distant, aggressively manipulative, and vaguely scary. But distant. There were times when I thought she had no sense of humour. As cute as she was, I'd almost never seen her smile. Not to mention all the other things. <laughs> Especially the tentacles. That was weird. And the fangs, and the bat wings, the analytical stare, the permanently stoic expression, and even her penmanship, so mechanically precise that everything she writes looks typed. But Shizne and Misha really aren't as different as I thought. I'm a little surprised. Why? Uh, why? Shizne, I didn't know that she liked to joke around like that. What I meant to say is, I didn't know she could act so girlish, it was actually pretty cute. <laughs> You'd be surprised, Hee Chan. Well, I didn't know you and her were so close, even the first time I saw you. I've always been curious as to how these two met. Did you two go far back or something? Childhood friends? Next door neighbors? Ex lesbian lovers? <laughs> Sorry, Hee Chan, it's not anything like that, even if it would be cuter that way. When I came to the school, they just placed me next to Shi-chan, and she looked like a very serious person. And I thought, I'm going to spend the rest of this year, the rest of the year next to this person, maybe. It would be nice if we could be friends, but I wonder if she'll like me. And I learned that she was deaf. You know, Hee-chan, the first time I just thought she was ignoring me. <laughs> but luckily, I knew a little sign language, and we became friends. I want to know where we should learn how to sign, but I guess it's something for another time. Now I guess we're all together. It's nice. I've always wanted somebody to listen to me, and I think Shi-chan likes so having someone to talk to. So everybody wins. Huh, that's nice. That's it? You look disappointed, Hee-chan. What were you expecting? Ex-lesbian lovers. <laughs> hmm. You know, Hee-chan, I don't think that me and Shizne thanked you properly. <laughs> oh no. For what? Joining the student council. You've been a real help to us, Hee Chan. I think I will get a lot more sleep now. Sleep now. Ooh. I'm asleep now. There you go. I don't know. Well, I'm glad I could help. If it helps a young woman sleep at night. Let me help you sleep. You dirty bastard, his out. Get. Put that away right now. Eh, hey, hey, Misha. Ah, oh, put that away. That's an interesting thing. <laughs> That's an interesting thing to say, Hichan. She didn't really appreciate you helping us out too. 
At that moment, Shishnave steps back into the room, looking slightly annoyed and sipping off-handedly from a juice box. She throws two boxes of tacks on the floor with a wiry smile. Like, sharp ones? Like, pins flying everywhere? Ah, she chan Whoa. Crush your head like a juice box. Misha opens her mouth to speak, but then quickly closes it as Shizune suddenly crumples her juice box with a crunch like the sound of breaking bones. I can tell that each harsh, quaking hand gesture is like that of an epithet. <laughs> What's she saying? It was a. It was very hard to get these. I guess it's an understatement, Shi Chan. Shizune calms down a bit, straightening her glasses and slightly brushing her bangs back with one finger. It really wasn't a big deal in retrospect. That's forward thinking of you. All right then. I guess the two of us should get back to work, Shi Chan. Sure. Why not? By the time we're done with the signs, it's already getting dark out. I hadn't expected something like this to take so long. But then again, if it were that easy, I doubt Shizune and Misha would have asked for my help. Shizune falls into a nearby chair, cracking her knuckles systematically and letting out a muted yawn. That's all for today, I guess. That's a good thing, Chi chan I'm very tired, too. That took longer than expected. That's weird. I... Well, even if you're deaf, you can still make noise. It's not like your vocal box is gone, is it? Like... <sighs> it's like miming sound. When she screams, she just go... You agree? <laughs> we didn't expect it to take that long either. Not as planned. Oh, I'm so hungry. I just realized I haven't eaten all day. Now that I think about it, I haven't eaten... I. I have eaten, I ain't eaten nothing since I woke up this morning. But right now, I'm almost too tired to think about food. I think they already stopped serving dinner. This can't be, this can't be happening. Hey Chan, can you think of any way we could obtain food? Obtain food? I don't like her tone of voice. Why not order out? Oh, that's right. I guess I could do that. Why not order out? Oh, right, that's yeah. What are out? From where? From town, of course! I don't know they delivered to schools. What are you gonna get? Maybe some Chinese food! As long as you're gonna. I would love some Chinese food! I have chicken fried rice and. Uh, yeah. Special, uh, chicken fried rice, I'll do. As long as you're going to. Can I get on too? I'm also pretty hungry. <laughs> Hitchin, you should have just said in the first place! What's that? It's your treat? That's great! That's great! <laughs> That's true! If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be here so late, Hitchi chan Misha quickly grabs a menu from a drawer behind her and begins to enter the number slowly and carefully as if she's used to messing it up. Eh. 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 What do you want, Hitchi chan Uh, well, I guess I'll just have some dumplings. That's it. That's it. That's it. I want chicken fried rice. I raise my hand in a gesture of thanks to Shizne, who responds with a very faint, split second smile. <laughs> hey Chan, Shi Chan is paying for everything tonight. It's all on her, so you can afford to splurge a little. <laughs> Just spend loads. Uh, some shrimp fried rice, too, then. Alright, alright. And you, Shi Chan? It's Chinese omelette. Okay. Hey, Misha, does that. Really mean omelette? Can I see that again? Sure! <laughs> like this, like this! What's that? And this is what you ordered! Dumplings! <laughs> okay, so apparently dumplings is this. And so, and, and egg finger is this. Egg finger is this. It always ends with this. Shrimp fried rice? I'm gonna get a soup and stir fry. 
You say that. You say that like this. And here's how much it gold costs. Three thousand six hundred eighty-five yen. Uh. <laughs> well, I don't know about in many situations. I'll need to remember such an exact number. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna order now. Unless anyone wants something else, no objections. All right, all right then. She's name patiently twirls a pair of chopsticks between her fingers as we wait for the food to arrive. Hey, where did you get those? This isn't the first time we've ordered out, Hichan, and they always give us a ton of chopsticks for some reason, even when we tell them we're only two people. And you two have accumulated a lot of them from a lot of long nights eating at takeout in the office? That's exactly it! <laughs> I'm overstating it? <laughs> That's right, Shichan. Hey, Hichan, do you know that once we've collected a hundred pairs of chopsticks from ordering out, we'll be able to take over the universe? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm missing something here. I used to think that too when I was little. Hitchen, are you good at breaking them down the middle? I can never do it right. So I found a little pile of chopsticks Shichan has saved up and practiced on at least 20 of them. She was really mad about that. I let her laugh as Shizne turns bright red with indignation. I didn't know she had such a childish side. <laughs> I think I'm gonna stop here, guys. It's been good. It's like 40 minutes and I want to sleep. Okay. Thanks for joining me, guys. Oh, she's... Misha's voice is slowly killing me. <laughs> it's bloody hot in here. Thank you for watching, guys. I have been Milby. This has been Kadawa Shoujo. I will see you next time. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. Goodbye. <laughs>